praise God, praise God. I had to get on my phone. Y'all know, whatever. They be doing all kind of stuff. Didn't know I was going to get back on here. But let me tell you. So I'm sitting up there fixing me some water. And um, God told me, he said, Dana, you know what the enemy is doing to my people in this hour? That's throwing their walk off, their talk off. Everything is throwing everything off. It's because you're allowing the enemy to put keep you in guilt and condemnation, which is not of God. I'm going to explain that thing. Okay, so there was something that I was talking about, and I felt bad about it, right? And he said, Deanna, that's not coming from me. That's coming from the enemy. The enemy tries to put us in guilt and condemnation when God has forgiven us. And it could be about something small. It could be something big. It could be whatever the case may be. So I wanted to read you Romans chapter 1, verse 8 and 1 says, there is, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Let me tell you what else God told me. He said, Deanna, you can, I, I, you know, we all ask for millions. Let's just be honest in this and that. But I, so I'm going to tell you transparently what he said to me. He said, Deanna, I can give you $2 million. I can give you a husband and give you a house and car another car, anything you want. As long as you are human, you will always err. Mm. So if you can get that into your spirit, it don't matter what you have. It don't matter who you have. As long as you are human, you will err. He said, but what you cannot forget is this. Just because you err don't mean you're supposed to keep doing error. Number two, maturity tells you it's time to change. Maturity tells you, I can't go on like this. I can't keep saying things like this, doing things like this, or not take care of business. We all have those things in our life, say it or not. There are some areas where we all need to come up. There are some areas where we need to just stop stuff, start stuff, and that's it. End of story. So the whole thing is about your growth. It goes back to growth. All this year, you've been talking about spiritual growth and spiritual maturity because that's where we at. I don't care what you have. I know, this is, I'm just going to keep it real. Y'all know I keep it 100. I have seen people, doctors, lawyers. They got it going on. They can make the money. They got the house. They got the cars. They're jacked up. They're unhappy. They don't like their wife or their husband. They cuss. They fuss. They, they drink. They do that. And I'm not talking about any particular. I'm talking about people I don't know and know. You can see it. In life, you can see it on them. When I was in the emergency room yesterday, I was looking at people. And I look at people through the spirit. I don't look at people like, oh, my God, look at them. I saw this one particular guy. And if I had been feeling a little better, but in case you don't know this protocol, especially leaders, when you have something going on, you should never lay hands. Because the thing is, is it's spiritual. It's transferring. And everybody can't handle what you got anyway, not spiritually or naturally. So I was just looking at him, I was praying because I saw the demonic in him. I said, he's been touching the unclean thing, he's hurting. L let me walk this thing out. There would be people that would touch drugs, alcohol, whatever the case, to try to ease the pain. And then there would be some that just do it for recreation because they like to get high. There are some that would fornicate. There are some that would do this, do that. And you could say what you want. You do it, right? Then, when you spend time with God, are you, are you having a chat with God, are you praying? That's when that feeling will come up. I'm not worthy. Look what I do. Look what I did. Look what I am. Look who I am. Look what I'm doing. Look what I'm not doing. Look what I'm supposed to do. Look what I want to do. Because truth be told, who you are by yourself is who you truly are. See, when you're in front of people, you can say what you want. Everybody put on them. Hi, how you doing? All that fake stuff. People with spiritual wisdom and discernment, they see through all of that. But now, don't get it twisted. We'll get it wrong too sometimes and God have to say, no, no, no. It's not like that. That's why it's so important to have and to hear the voice of God. Because you'll mess up somebody. You'll say something about somebody that ain't even real. If, even me. Every time I've done a dust said the Lord, and I've told y'all this, I don't know how many times, some believe me, some don't, whatever. I have never said a dust said the Lord or came against anybody without hearing confirmation two or three times. I won't do it. Even in something nonchalant. Even if it's not the say of the Lord, just information. I don't want to hurt nobody, whether they like me or not, enemy or whatever. I'm not trying to do that. 
And as Christians, that's what we need to do. We need to have every we need to have everything in a row, all our ducks in a row, because God is a God of order. So we should be in order. But what God, I want to stick to the subject. What God told me, He said, my people are feeling guilty, condemnation, because of the things they do. As long as you're on this earth, you're gonna do some things that probably you shouldn't want to do. I'm a living witness. It's not that we don't love God. It's not that we don't want to serve God. We're human, and sometimes, truth be told, I'm going to say it like you ain't never heard it. Sometimes we'd be like, you know what, God, I just need a day. What you mean? Y'all see how I'm looking? I need a day, God. I, I don't know if I could do this today. I love you. I, I want to serve you. But uh, that human part comes up. You can say what you want. We've all been like, not today. How that girl said that. Y'all all know. That's why she went viral, because there was some real stuff. Not today. I say not today. <laughs> so when you have those not todays, that's when you need to be praying. God, I need help. I need you. I can't do this today. He already know you couldn't do it. Sometimes you can't do it the next day. Sometimes you just can't even get, you can't get out of bed. Jesus, Jesus. Sometimes you can't even say Jesus. You, you're just moaning. Mm. 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 Yeah, I got that old soul. I got that old spirit. Always have since I was a little girl. <laughs> Stop feeling bad about who you are. Stop feeling bad about what you do. Some things may not be of God. This is what you pray, God, help me. You know my weaknesses, you know my strengths, help me. And that's why I tell everybody when they take my class, and even if you're not in a class of mine, you need to do it for yourself. It will just change your life. First of all, do your vision board, because what you see every day is what you be. Whatever you meditate, whatever you feed, is called the need to feed. That's what you're gonna become, what you see. What you operate in, who you're around. It, it, that's why our environment is so important. Your environment is so important. Your friends are so important. Your spouse is so important. You can't just pick somebody just because they fine and they got some money or they got a good credit score. That's why you're going through what you're going through. You got to pick somebody that carry the glory, that, that, that understands the story. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You got to pick somebody anointed. That got you for real and not wishy-washy. Because I can't stand wishy-washy friends, family. Fa so I can't marry nobody wishy-washy. One day you love me, the next day you don't. What's going on in here? The devil is a lie. Because that, <laughs> that won't last with me because I get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. We got to talk. Did something change? <laughs> That's why I ain't got nobody right now. I'm not an ugly woman or nothing, but I just don't play. And if you're going to step, you better step for real. Don't come with that. Because I'm not that type of one to be like, <laughs> maybe he'll change. <laughs> the devil is allowed to be like, partner, you need to change to get about my life. I'm not, like, <laughs> he's so fine. And he got sex and then, you know, he make money. So, girl, I'm just, you know, the devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. And that's why some of y'all in the marriages, y'all in our relationships, y'all in, because y'all looking at all that, that stuff, that fake stuff. The real stuff is in the inside. Come on, somebody. I'm going to say it again. The real stuff is in the inside. Can he talk to God? Can he pray for you? Can he pray on you? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm talking about P-A-R-Y, not P-R-E-Y. Can he carry you when you're down? Can he carry you in the spirit? Do he know God? Do he serve God? Is he of God for real? They're not playing. Because people perpetrate real good. They can perpetrate for two years. Did you know that? People can fake up to two years. Oh, I, I'll come to you with your statistics. Fake up to two years. That's if you ain't got no wisdom and discernment because I'm going to undo it in five minutes. Not because I'm so great, but the God in me is great. The, the God in you looking at with them big eyes like, what's your game? What's your angle? Who you be? You for them or you for him? And I'm serious. I, sometimes I really ask people that. They're just looking at me. You're so crazy. <laughs> answer the question. Why are you talking about trying to play it off like I'm crazy? Yeah, I, I know that. But answer the question. Play with me. This is my soul. This is my spirit. This is my life. Y'all let anybody come into your life and play with your life. The devil is a lie. You don't play with me. Because I got somewhere to be. I'm trying to go to heaven. Not a song. This is real. This is my life. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Stop letting people play with you. I don't know why I didn't went all the way over there. But I did, huh? Because that's what y'all need to hear. So, 
I'm not gonna tarry. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna um, tarry long. I'm gonna get up and off of here. But I will tell you this: I have so much to do. That's why I was like, Lord, <laughs> I don't know why all this is happening. I gotta do it in this with what I'm feeling. I'm not gonna speak it no more. I said, but I, but but God is good. I said, but God is good. So anywho, stop stop letting the enemy have you in uh, condemnation. I'm gonna read the scripture again, Romans eight one. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus who walk after, not after the flesh, but after the spirit. We're not going to always walk in the spirit because we have this flesh. As a matter of fact, the only time we'll be changed in the twinkling of the eyes when we caught up with, with God, right? We get caught up with God. Come on, somebody, we're going to get caught up with God, caught up with God, caught up with God. Hallelujah. Get that in your spirit. That's the only one we get caught up with. Not y'all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stop letting the devil make you feel bad. Now, hold on. That's not a license to go out and still do what you do. But this is when you got to say, God, I need some help stopping this stuff. I want to. I want to serve you. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. Because the enemy always, that carrot, you know you want it, don't you? And he's serious. Just, just like we're supposed to be serious. And you, with your greedy self sometimes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not even knowing it's for your soul. Or better yet, let's just say what it's really for. When the enemy offers you anything, it's to come to steal, kill, and destroy you. And not necessarily in that order. He is not playing. He is truly, truly, truly trying to do that. Now they're making the phone ring. Them people are crazy. They can't stand my anointed self. And I can't stand them. Just to let y'all know, the feeling is mutual. I know I'm in a war. Do you? This a war. The Bible says that first they hated Jesus. So you think they go like you? Me? Because we be wanting to be, everybody be liking us. And I used to like that. I used to feel bad. God, they don't like me. But God, I didn't do nothing. But God, I don't understand. God, they lying. God, they don't understand. I've had many, I don't know why I'm going here, but maybe I do. I've had many women that didn't understand me of God. And I didn't understand that. Let me tell you how I can understand it. We chose some ourselves. We chose so sin on ourselves. You mean to tell me you ain't never went to God and asked God who I was? You are a liar before God. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. You heard me. And I know y'all don't like it. Stop playing. Because the first thing I'm going to do is go to God. Any situation, anything, I'm going straight to God. Who's this? Who this is? And then when he said, when he co sign and sign him, I'll be like, my bad. I'm, I'm, I got him. I got him. Because God would never steal you wrong. But if you hit, that's the other side, you got to do what you got to do. Quit allowing the enemy to break your spirit, to break your spirit. Well, guilt, condemnation. But we're not all guiltless and sinless, meaning that it's time to change. And it's process. It's a process. But you got to want to. You know, uh, I'm going to end it with this. I'm reminded of when he told the man by the pool, do you want to be healed? Because some of us like playing with demons. Some of us like doing the nasty stuff. We do. It feels good to the flesh. Some of us like getting high. Feel good to the flesh. For a moment anyway. Because after that over, well, you still got what you got. You still got to think about the bills. You still got to think about the situation of the situation of the situation. And the revelation of the situation. So it's a temporary fix anyway. Truth be told. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. But be encouraged. All these videos today is to, is to encourage your spirit and your soul. And isn't it amazing, preachers, teachers, apostles, ministers of God, children of God, that when you are encouraging others, God will encourage you. God will say, I haven't forgotten you. I know, I, I know what it looks like. I know you feel forgotten. I, I, I know it looks like I'm not going to bless you. I know it looks like this. And this. That's why you got to know that you know that you know. You see, he said, walk by faith and not by sight. Because when you walk by faith, you know that you know that you know. When you walk by sight, you get a little, I don't know. So continue to keep your faith full. No matter who, no matter what, no matter what they say, no matter if they leave you, no matter if they stay. I told you I'm, a, I'm, 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 I'm serious. One day, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it before I pass. I'm going to find me some, some of the um, revolving doors, and I'm just going to sit by them and be like that. Because that's how people be coming in and out of my life. Because <laughs> they be sending plants. And then sometimes people just not real. 
and I'm not dealing with you when you're not real. I'm going to love you. I ain't going to throw people away. And I always love you from a distance. But don't come into my personal space thinking you could play somebody. Let's just put that out there. I don't care who you are either. You can't. I'm telling to your face you can't. Because I'm going straight to God. He got all the news, all the situations. He know everything that you're plotting and planning. And he also know if you are authentic. So that's why we're supposed to go to God about everybody and everything. But some of y'all just get so excited. And I get it. Because I've done it too. Waiting for something and then, man, it wasn't even God. You'd be like, man, did it again. So this is the part where I say you got to grow up and mature. Can't keep going through the same thing. I even asked myself about certain situations I've been in recently. I was like, okay, Deanna, you can't blame the devil on this. You can't say you. it's an area I got to get it together in. End of story. Ain't no sense in lying. So, that's it. God bless you. God keep you. I love you all. I got much love and respect for all of you, even if I don't agree with you sometimes. Because that's what we got to get back to. We got to go back to basics, just respecting people. Even their calling. Even if you don't believe in them. Even if you don't like them. And that's why I don't understand preachers that be just dogging. Man, y'all can't be dogging people. Y'all crazy. God did not assign you to dog people. That's not even your, that's not even in the Bible. If anything, he says have great patience with them. So that's what we're supposed to do. Have great patience with them. You know what I mean? All right. So let me get up off of here because I got so much to do. Like I said, pray for me. If you have a prayer life, if you don't have no prayer life, just, just, just say Jesus. Just say Jesus, honey. Just say Jesus. And I promise you I'm praying with you all as well. So y'all know what time it is. This is General Prophetess Deanna Dixon. In the spirit. That's what I am a general. That's why I'm going to start saying it. Because I'm going to say it no. We just getting started. Hallelujah. That's why you're coming so hard at me. Hallelujah. So, let's get it. We roll our soldiers in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. <clears throat> because you are the end time army. And you know what an army do? They go to war. Yeah. Uh, let me get off here. Y'all I'm on one. I've been on one all day. I love God. I love God. You know, let me just leave y'all with this. You're gonna have some good days and you're gonna have some bad days. So on your good days, make it make it last. I mean, just put it all out there. On your bad days, just pray. I'm holding on, Jesus. I'm gonna hold on with tears in my eyes. And maybe I did it. Maybe I made the wrong decision. Maybe I said something. Maybe I did something. Forgive me, God. Just keep me in Jesus' name. Just keep me. Don't leave me. Don't let me go. Don't, don't take his Holy Spirit from me. That's how you handle life. So God bless you. Mm.